thing and the red knob is for connecting further the light here is an indicator that it is on charging mode and this light is an indicator that blink shows that there is an electric flow in the fence this is a field where i going to explain you how the connectivity has been done take out different poles of wood or iron whichever you have any of the materials you can use as a pole put them into the ground and make the foundation of the poles very strong and take up the pliers the plier is the only thing that you're going to use for the entire part these are the insulators the insulators is been winded up with gi wires the gi wires should be separate from the internal hole which is in between the hole should be kept gap in between this is the outer part so now you got to fix it up to the poles that have already installed tighten up the cables very tight and make sure there is no any contact with the external cable and the wire that is passing in between that may cause the uh, loss to your product or may not work properly accordingly take out the wire to all the holes of the same line do not mess up the wires make sure the wire is not touching the pole in any way make sure the insulators are inside at the corners and the further poles should have the insulators outside to maintain the balance so that the pole should not fall off this is how it looks now it's time to install the solar panel you need to find out the pole a metal pole which will keep it firm on the ground screw it up with the screws make sure that will not move or not fall apart once you installing panel please do make sure the sun is towards the right and the panel is leaning 35 degrees towards the ground this key is to switch on where the electronic flow should flow or it should be only kept on the charging mode and further moving you got a charging point over there as well below